Me here back with some more Idle Heroes news and today we're going to be breaking down the upcoming Christmas event because well it's not very straightforward you do have to really read between the lines to see exactly what you're getting where which convert over to this and then convert over to this and there's a lot to it so we're going to break that down for you right now so you guys can fully understand exactly what you need to get for the rewards in this event on the positive side technically some of the cheapest rewards like a sublimation chest and a core of origin chest are only going to take about like 1500 heroic scrolls granted you're going to be getting some other stuff by doing that as well but that is the main part um if you go for one full story though which is just a little bit more than that the full 2000 scrolls and some extra stuff you get some really good <laughs> So this right here is the main part of the event that we're going to be talking about here, and it's because it's a little bit confusing. One thing to remember here is the number of paper crowns, clues, rainbows. There's a lot of event currencies here. You can easily get confused. So let's reread it one more time. I have the stuff right down here that's kind of like a breakdown if you already want to read along with it. It says, during the event, there are four different Christmas stories in the fairy tale book. Uh, players can choose one of those stories to start exploring, so... I imagine they have to start in story one, though. That That's my guess. I don't know if you can just jump straight to number four. I mean, if you can, then that would make this even better. Good news, it sounds like you can pick which one of these stories you start with. Uh, one of the, the community managers, I think, took a look and said you can pick whichever one of these stories to start with. So you could go for the Aurora Gems or the Scattered Spirit Vein first from the sounds of it. If we did get that information, I'll put it right before this segment right here. But yeah, uh, if you can go straight for Story 4, that's awesome. Otherwise, you can't. Uh, and it is what it is. Basically, you have to start exploring every eight crowns that you, that you use. The paper crowns that are going to be used can be used to find clues. So it takes eight paper crowns get one clue and when you get that clue you also get two of the rainbow resource that's going to be used very importantly in the star store so keep that in mind right there this is how it breaks down there's a total of 10 clues in each story so to clear out a story it takes 10 of those clues so it's going to cost 80 of the paper crown searches in order to get that there's no rng involved uh, after searching for all the clues and answering the question correctly uh, you take away the corresponding rewards completion rewards you can pick one or the other in each of these stories if you complete all four of them you get the bonus rewards and of course this is the breakdown so for every 50 heroic scrolls you get uh one point total of 40 points 2000 heroic scrolls 25 points for uh five star heroes for every two five star heroes you get a point 25 soul awakenings it doesn't matter who they're used for just doing those soul awakenings will get it to you 30 of them come from the christmas relay and then a grand total of an extra 200 come from a grand total of uh what is it 200 vip points per I, well, let me just make sure i did that math right i think i did uh 200 vip times uh 200 total is 40,000 points and i believe 5,000 is a hundred dollars so yeah it's essentially 800 dollars or yeah 800 for this event i believe is how you cap this out for a total of 320 and that makes sense because it's 80 per so it's 80 searches per will get you fully unlocked and again there is no r and g for that right there now what that means is there's going to be a couple breakdowns you kind of want to go for i did a couple of them real quick here so you guys can kind of see the totals here uh one example is not going for a full event here but if you want to go for a grand total of 13 of these here just to get like a sublimation chest essentially not a core of origin a core of origin actually no this this total would work either for core of origin or sublimation uh technically this gets you 14 rainbow so it'll get you either one of those 56 paper crowns 56 searches are required which is a little bit easier to obtain here you can kind of see that uh you'd only need 15 50 heroic scrolls 55 star heroes are easy that gives you 56 total points 56 total points will should net you 14 rainbow seven times eight is 56 that's where we're getting that from and that's not actually completing a story though so you're missing out on the core of origin or sublimate or sublimation or however ends up working out there uh so just keep that in mind now i highly recommend you try to finish a complete story because you get a lot from doing that of course getting the complete story lets you pick whichever one like we found out so if you're wanting to go for the actual big ticket items here 
like the uh, the Scattered Spirit Vein, the Aurora Gems, and of course you're getting some of those treasures from the Treasure Train event, the Charm Treasure Train event. Uh, you're just getting them straight out the bat. It's probably the better option, but to do one full story, you're gonna need to do a full 2,000 Heroic Scrolls. You're gonna have to have 55 star heroes, which shouldn't be hard, and then 15 of the 25 Soul Awakenings. That should get you to a total of 80, right? 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. 80 of those is going to give you a grand total of 10 of these rainbows right here, plus, of course, the special reward, which is good. And then you're going to get 20 by doing the 10. So the 10 clues gives you 20 rainbows, so you get a total of 30 rainbows, which means you can pick a couple different things. Now, the downside is if you do go for the Scattered Spirit Vein or Aurora Gems down here as well, uh, basically what you can do is you get 18 and then you buy two of these get some of the either skins for your cloud island if you've not bought them before because those are worth five levels on each plot or go for the resources here uh, the alternative here the alternative is 30 is a tough number you can go for like two of these down here if you want to 14 that's 28 uh, there's really a weird combo because even if you just do one of each of these, that's still 27. You can't do anything more. So <sighs> yeah, you can either go for two cores of origin, two of these, you could go for the 18 and that's kind of why I put the breakdown. If you want to just go for the, the 56 points, which is 14, just going for this. But again, going for a full story seems like you really want to be able to do it, but it does require that you can do. 2,000 Heroic Scrolls and or less Heroic Scrolls and 10 more Soul Awakenings. So if you take this off and you go for 25 Soul Awakenings, that's 10 more points. You only need 30 here. And what's that? 30 times, uh, I think it's 50, is 1,500. So if you can do 25 Soul Awakenings, you only have to do uh, 1,500 Heroic Scrolls. So it's kind of a sliding scale. So overall, I think... Pretty solid event. I mean, if it was just these star store rewards, it would probably be a little lacking, but the fact that you're also getting a story reward, most likely, it does mean it's pretty solid. Is it as good as some of the events we've had in the past? Maybe not, because we've been able to get like sublimations or core of origins for like seven to 900 heroic scrolls. However, this event comes with a lot more. You're getting uh, potentially or essentially like at least two, maybe even three of these treasure train selections as well I, we don't know what these actually do there's the reindeer there's the snowman and there's also the christmas tree but that's like the premium one that you probably won't get your hands on uh getting the 36 isn't possible free to play is the only downside here that is the only down well actually hold on wait a minute if you do 10 additional here that's 10 more searches no it only gets you two more you can only get a maximum of 32 rainbows free to play so yeah you can't go for the 36 as a free to play but i mean i wouldn't expect you to be able to technically okay event as far as the star store goes amazing event overall because there's even other things that we need to talk about later down the road hopefully you guys enjoy this one i'll see you guys next time